In this video, we'll discuss a very important relation between angular velocity, which depends on number of turns, with the linear velocity. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll take up a very important example based on related rate of change. Now, in calculus, related rate of change is a very important topic, and let's try to understand the concept before we move forward with the solution of the given question. Let me read the question first. It says, a bicycle has tires with radius of 22 centimeters. If the bicycle moves forward at an average speed of 10 meters per second, at what rate? do the tires turn? So in this question, you see there are two different type of things which you are working with, right? So we have a bicycle tire. So let's just consider the tire here for the moment, right? So let's say this is a bicycle, right? Okay. So what is happening here is that as the tires turn, Bicycle moves in front, correct? So you're saying the bicycle has tires with radius of 22 centimeters. Let's assume that these are exactly same tires with radius r equals to 22 centimeters. If the bicycle moves forward at an average speed, so let's say if we consider this distance as x, right, in this direction, then dx dt will be the speed, right? And this speed is 10 meters per second. This is what rate does the tires turn? Now, there's absolutely a new thing here, right? So, so rate at which the tires turn. So, let n be the number of turns per second, right? So, where n is the number of turns. So, so turns per second. So that is what we need to find, correct? So what is happening is when the position is changing, then the tires are also turning. So there are two things related and that is what we refer to as related rate of change. So I think the concept is clear. Now how do we solve such questions? So, of course, first thing is to relate them. So, that is what we will do now. So, as you see, that circumference is 2 pi r. So, so the distance traveled, let's say, x is equal to, if there is n is 1, so it will be 2 pi r times n, where n is number of turns, correct? Since in each term, it goes one circle, right? So 2 pi r is the circumference. n is the number of terms. So that is how distance is related with number of terms. You get the idea. Once you relate it, then you could actually differentiate and get your answer. So I hope the concept is clear. Well, now you can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. So now, let us differentiate both sides with respect to time. So, in short, we write differentiate with respect to time. Right? So, we get dx dt. Equals to. Let me write it d dt of 2 pi r first, right? r and n. n is changing, r is not changing, right? So, so that means 2 pi r is a constant, right? So, 2 pi r and dn dt. See how we got the rate of change of 
position, which is dx dt speed, related with rate or change of number of turns. You see that. So that is what is interesting about related rate of change. And from here, we can isolate and write our equation as d and dt equals to 1 over 2 pi r times dx dt, correct? So, rate of change of number of terms is related with the speed. Faster you move, more number of terms are required. Now, since we are given that radius is 22 and speed is 10 meters per second, we can now substitute these values, correct? So, we get 1 over 2 pi and the radius of 22 centimeters. Speed 10 meters per second. So, either you convert to same units. So, we will convert this to 0 0.22 meters, correct? and multiply with 10 meters. Does it make sense? To, right. So, number of terms, as you see, meters per second and number of terms will be per second, right? Meters and meters will cancel. So, as far as units are concerned, we have this in meters and that in meters per second. So, clearly, meters and meters cancel and per second is what you get. So, it's important to rewrite the radius in same units. We will write this as 0 0.22 meters. Now, everything is in the same units, right? So, let us write down our answer now. So, we got the rate of change of number of terms as equal to all this, right? Use a calculator and find this particular answer, right? 1 over 2 pi. So, let us do it. So, actually divide 10 by all this, which is 2 times, I will write 3.14 for pi into 0.22. And we get our value, which in decimals is around 7.23, right? So, 7.23 meters per second. So, for a speed of 10 meters per second, you have to make turns, more than 7 turns per second. Then you get that speed. So, that is what we actually understand from this particular real life situation. So, I hope it makes sense. Perfect. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.